Self-described as Northeastern student-run sports magazine, the Red and Black has taken the campus by storm, connecting and informing student-athletes about their peers and teammates. As an outlet for student-athletes to tell their stories, the magazine has fostered a great sense of community throughout the department. The Red and Black, when we created it, we envisioned it as a cross between Sports Illustrated and the Players' Tribune, and we created it three years ago now. Back in April of 2017, it was myself and my friend Jacob Sauberman. We weren't really happy with the way that sports writing was kind of seen in that light, so we wanted to make a space where everything was kind of respected and valued. And We do a full 40-page print magazine, and in addition to that, we also have a bunch of stuff in full on our website as well, so it's really exciting. It covers mostly varsity sports, but we've also done features on various club sports and club athletes. Having the athletes involved makes them feel like a part of the process, and it makes them feel like this magazine is as much as it is Jenna, Jake, and Adam coming together and thinking of this idea. It's also the person who decides to share their story with us. It's their magazine just as much as it is ours. You know, there was no print magazine that comes out that has, you know, bold embraces face on the cover, Adam Gaudet hoisting the bean pot above his head. And you can walk around campus, you can see that, you can pick it up, it's tangible, it's something different. It became kind of like the snowball effect where people were like, oh, well, my friend did this, maybe I can help. And there are athletes who are majoring in journalism, photography, communications, who take an interest in that kind of thing. And we're like, hey, I'd love to hop on board. How can I help? You know, we've had athletes take photos. We've had athletes design pages. We've had athletes write stories about themselves. That's been the coolest part is seeing how everybody's kind of bought into this idea, like this is a cool thing and how it's become kind of a staple of the culture here at Northeastern Athletics. Here's a wide open chance. Malia is stopped by Bogalski. I first heard about the red and black my junior year. I'd seen that a few of my friends had written a few articles. I thought the articles were really cool, really inspiring. So I just wanted to look more into it and see what it was all about. Writing for the Red and Black, I feel like it was almost therapeutic in a way. I feel like it's really difficult when you're in the middle of an experience to sit down, look back on it, and, and figure out what you learned from it and what the takeaways were. I thought it was a perfect opportunity to make an impact on people and hopefully someone could learn something from it or could inspire someone in some way. Adam spoke to me about uh, the injury that I had uh, during my sophomore season and asked if I would be interested in writing about my experience coming back from the injury. And it was definitely a very emotional process at the beginning, just sometimes when you experience anything that's hard in your life or an injury in sports, it's hard to really reflect upon it and talk about how it's affected your life. And when you start writing the article, you start digging into some deeper issues that you've kind of experienced in your life. And for me, being able to just kind of write freely and have no expectations or no guidelines was awesome. My first article was about red shirt athletes, and I really liked that one. It stuck out to me because I have a lot of teammates and friends who have gone through that process, and I really think that it's a process that needs to be re-explained in a different way. I definitely think that the Red and Black brings our community a little bit closer. As a student athlete, I can tell other student athletes stories. We've had people co-op at the Boston Globe, Boston.com, co-op at the Red Sox as a graphic designer. You know, our editor-in-chief just graduated and he's now working in baseball operations for the Los Angeles Angels. That's really cool for us, and it's something that we're excited to see go forward. You only take with you what you leave behind. And to be able to leave something behind like the red and black for someone else to continue to grow is really exciting to think about.